Oracle Scorpio, welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your mid-month reading. I've already cleansed your space and have meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I'm truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder though, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about to pretend to be me and lots of other Tarot readers. I do not do personal readings. I do not take your money, e-gifts, donations. I'm not on Facebook, WhatsApp, PayPal. Pal, Telegram or Patreon. I'll never ask you for your credit card details and I'll never ask you for personal details either. So if anyone masquerading as me asks you for anything at all, please report them or ignore them. It is a scam. Okay, let's move straight on with your reading, my beautiful Scorpio. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly. So please be mindful. There's going to be three loud sounds. Let us begin. Okay, my beautiful Scorpio, so this reading is a little bit different. I'm not focusing on love or career. I'm focusing on you and anything that may come up for you, uh, your progress, how you're feeling about this time period, how you're feeling as you navigate the new year, any blockages or anything that you've been wrestling with, okay? Us tarot readers, we tend to focus on a career or love or, you know, the big major topics that we're all worried about at some stage, but we never really truly check in with how we are doing. So I thought I would uh, open a reading up for that. Uh, we've got the bear, number 15 there. We've got number nine, the bouquet and we've got number four the um house okay so this is your major faded energy or uh, sort of how you're feeling right now kind of energy the protagonist energy you're trying to be strong okay this is a very powerful card of endurance now i feel um there's energy here of you trying to control um, how things are going at the moment because I feel like a lot of responsibility has been on your shoulders recently. So you may have felt that you've had to be strong because of the time period that we're living in or perhaps you have family members or people depending on you in some way. Even if nobody else is depending on you, I feel like you are... You have a lot on your shoulders is what I feel, okay? Um, now, the, the bear typically represents endurance, but it can also represent an authoritative figure or uh, a leader, okay? So you may be trying to really step up in the world. Maybe you're trying to move into a position of leadership or you are actually um, someone who is, has a lot of authority or in some way power in order to um, thrive, in uncertain circumstances. So for example, we've been going through a major pandemic uh, for the last couple of years, and you may have taken on a lot more responsibility or felt a lot more sort of tough energy to try and navigate and secure your future. So it may have felt like, I am getting this energy, Scorpio, so please don't shoot the messenger when I, I say this, but I also feel an energy of you in the last couple of, well, I'm feeling last at least 12 months. You may have felt like you've lost sense of yourself sometimes. It's almost like, because I'm getting this sentence of, I don't even know who I am anymore. So if you felt like life has changed quite drastically, or you're maybe you're having a very philosophical energy, trying to work out who you are, where you're at, because I feel like you have almost sort of merged your soul with your work in some way. So you may have felt like, it's quite heavy energy is what I'm picking up um, because I feel like this bear, okay, as you can see, there's a water there, but the f reflection is a little bit muddy. So uh, a little bit, um, a little bit choppy. So you may feel that you're trying to gain clarity about coming back to your center, rediscovering who you are or who you felt like you were maybe you'd be before, uh, maybe before the pandemic, for example. So I definitely get this energy of you trying to get back to what you know uh, as well in this energy. Um, it's number 15. In this particular deck, now this is a beautiful deck, the Lenormand deck by Lamucci Design. Number 15 represents the devil card energy. So I feel like because you've had to be strong in life, it's almost like you are, you don't know any other way apart from being strong. And I feel like you've had to wear an armor in your life day to day. You've had to fight for the things that you've had. 
Okay, uh, you know, the devil card energy can sometimes mean that we feel stuck in, uh, you know, control or obsession, or maybe even, uh, you know, maybe you are obsessing about being secure. Okay, especially since the world turned us all on our heads, that is a major energy that sort of played out for humanity in general, trying to hold on to some sort of sense of what was normal in major changing situations around us. But I feel there is this um, tough, energy it's almost like it made you stronger the bear um you know as i said represents endurance but also strength to survive and thrive even in the harshest of circumstances and scorpio you are built to last you're the sort of person who is built to um face anything any danger any sort of like unsurety anything like that i feel like you've got the strength to rise to the challenge now i also feel you don't like to go to that space, that anger, or that, um, I feel like, I feel like you really are blossoming actually here, um, in terms of your strength, but also in terms of creativity. But right now, I feel, it's almost like you're in that mama bear, protective kind of energy. Either that's protective of your family, of uh, the goals that you had, the dreams, um, your money. Uh, I mean, everybody's protective, but I feel like you are, it's almost like you're securing pockets of your world in order to make sure everything is accounted for. And it's almost like you're taking stock, okay? And protecting. Um, now, of course, my beautiful Scorpio, whilst that is very commendable energy, uh, sometimes you may feel alone in that energy, okay? As you can see, that bear is on its own. So uh, I do feel like sometimes it's a little bit isolating is what I'm getting. I will pull cards on these in a moment just to get a little bit more, uh, but they want you to know that you are not alone, okay? Your guides walk with you, and you may have been intuitively been given hits, as it, as it were, um, and by hits I mean like messages um, of which way to go which way to turn. You may have seen a lot of signs because they're actually showing me lots of signs now, uh, like as if I was driving down the freeways, lots of signs. So I feel like you're being given lots of signs. I'm scrying at the same time as doing your energy reading. So I feel like you are going to be um, navigating in the right direction, but you may have felt quite responsible for that, okay? Um, they're also indicating, and it's all, I feel quite overwhelmed by this energy, um, Spirit wants you to be aware you're doing a really good job. You're doing a really good job is what they're giving me. Um, even if things have not been going your way and you've been trying really hard, um, you're doing a really good job. They're proud, okay? That's what they want me to give you. Okay, so I'm just going to uh, move on from that energy. Um, we've got number nine. Uh, number nine is a hermit energy, of course. So that is an energy of being, uh, maybe feeling that, uh, and this is a blockage I feel like sometimes you feel a little bit alone, but I feel like there's a lot of strength and knowledge that comes in that solitary energy. So you may have gone off grid on purpose for um, whatever reason to focus on goals, dreams, or try to uh, focus on, I feel some of you are focusing on saving, for example, for a house or to move uh, in some way, um, to be closer to nature. So I feel like there's an obsessive energy about that as well. A Scorpio, obsessive energy can be really healthy, but it can also be a little bit sort of alienating, especially if you see that as your sole um, focus. So I feel with this card, it's number nine, which is the bouquet. Uh, the bouquet tends to be about gifts, receiving. So open yourself up to help when you know it is necessary, but I do feel like the universe is trying to remind you about your gifts that you were given, okay? Uh, make sure you share them with others. I feel like you're really blossoming. You're a very creative person, but you may have put something on hold in order to focus on securing either your family or I feel like there's been other responsibilities and I feel you've had to take the pedal off in one area and that may have been in some other gifts like creativity. If you're an artist, for example, you may have felt there was a bit of a blockage. Spirit's indicating that was meant to be blocked for a temporary period, but you're going to get back to it. I also feel like the universe is going to bestow a gift upon you. We're going to go deeper, as I said there, but I feel like you are someone who is very generous of heart, of spirit, of mind. You always give to the ones that are closest to you. Now, not everybody gets into the inner circle. You're very discerning about the company that you keep. And there's only the odd person that got under the radar who may have hurt you in the past when it comes to love or your heart, okay? But everybody else, it's almost like you've got a supercomputer, you see through them uh, inside and out, and it's almost like you intuitively vet. You don't mean to, it's just you can feel 
people's motives. You can feel the depth of people's psyche. So you understand them before maybe even having a true long conversation. Now, of course, you should never judge a book by its cover. The odd time you may have been surprised, but you don't tend to get it wrong about a person. Uh, first instinct always sticks when you meet a person and you tend to be right, bang on the point, okay? They're indicating that is also a gift that you have. So don't ever doubt your wonderful intuition, my beautiful Scorpio, because uh, it is there to help you blossom. So I do feel like um, you will be blooming, but they want you, I feel like they want you to come out of a comfort zone a little bit. They want to, if you've gone off grid or con disconnected from friends, family, or, you know, just to focus on something, make sure it's temporary because I feel like um, you don't want to cut yourself off indefinitely. They want you to uh, get back out there and sort of make sure you reconnect with nature, with life, with people that you truly care about, okay? Because you can feel, especially when you're on a mission, you feel a lot of responsibility. Sometimes you can feel a bit alone. Okay, and I feel like they want you to recognize you're not alone. Uh, now, the outcome energy, we got number four. So yes, you're building very strong foundations. You're building security. The house uh, tends, to me, uh, tends to be about stability and building foundations that will last the test of time. Also, as I said, I feel some of you are really focusing on either buying a first home or buying a home or relocating in some way closer to nature. I also feel like there's an energy here of isolation there as well. As you can see, this home is on its own. So I feel there's something like this energy of wanting to protect, okay? Um, I do feel like you're putting yourself in a really good position. And number four is a wonderful energy about ownership. Um, I feel like you are driving yourself towards uh, ownership of uh, a solid plan or a solid foundation. Four of Pentacles is a desire for long-term security. And I feel like um, you may have... It's almost like you're going to see that everything you've implemented is going to work out, okay, in the way that you'd hoped. Um, so, but I feel like they're just saying, make sure you don't isolate yourself completely from society or don't isolate yourself completely from your friends, okay? Now, let us see a little bit closer as to what's going on here. Thank you so much for it, guys. Got angels. Can you please guide? The Justice card. Just to let you know, I'm using The Wonderful Way of the Panda Tarot by Kimberly M. San, and I'm only reading the uprights in this deck, just so you're aware. Thank you so much for it, guys, Garden Angels. I'm just looking at this card, uh, Three of Swords, okay. Um, the Justice card, we've got a panda kicking the other panda in the nose, uh, which is quite, I mean, it's, I don't condone violence in any shape or form, but I feel like it's almost like that panda is putting its foot over its, the other panda's mouth because it's like, shush, don't even bother, don't even think about telling me a lie. Don't even don't even go there because I know you're gonna do it. I got there first. I know you. I know you're about to tell me something that's not true. So I feel justice. I mean, your search for truth, your search for justice is like, it is like a super sort of power for you as well. Okay. Um, Eight of Wands. Thank you so much for it, God's great angels. Ten of Wands. Thank you so much for it, God's great angels. Uh, we've got the Three of Pentacles here, and we've also got. The moon. They want me to go one more, so I'm going to give it. Thank you so much for it, guys. Great angels. We've got the magician, and we've got the page of wands. So definitely a message there about coming out of your comfort zone, exploring further afield. There. Um, just going to put these in a sort of a an order that I can get to grips with. Okay, so your first card here is Justice, and this is about good karma coming your way. The, the Justice card is a Libra energy about balance, harmony, but it is about fairness. It's about equality. Because you've been so generous and so giving, the universe is giving back, and I feel like there's wonderful opportunities coming your way. But I feel like you have a desire to seek the truth. I mean, Scorpio, that is what you're known for, so I'm not telling you anything that you don't know already. But this Justice card, I mean, I feel either this could be contracts, there could be a contract that you're signing because it's about legalities when you've got the justice system um, with this card. So if there's a contract, I would make sure that you um, do your due diligence. Make sure you check, you know, sign on the dotted line, but make sure you check all the details, even the fine print first there, because you don't want any sort of uncertain things popping out of nowhere at the end of it. Okay, just make sure you got it all going on. Um, the justice card also is about... A decision that you feel like you have to make because it is a reminder that when you get a justice card it's about cause and effect so for example if you feel like completely responsible for everything right now and your sole focus is either um, keeping yourself safe keeping you and your wonderful family safe of course I mean 
that's a given um, and your desire for truth it's almost like if you feel like the responsibility is all on your shoulders we've got a three of swords here and a ten of wands they're showing me that actually you're going to burn yourself out so make sure you get some rest okay um, make sure you share the load in some way but I do feel like um, you're going to make some sort of decision um, that it's almost like if you've been wrestling with something um, trying to work something out you're gonna make a decision that is a solution it's almost like this your aha moment okay a breakthrough moment where um, and I feel like there's a bit of luck attached to it as well some good karma coming your way um, now they want me to go down this way is what they're giving me um we got the eight of wands here so i feel like you're making major changes in your world the eight of wands is actually news coming on in for you but it's also quick changes as these this news arrives so i feel you are trying to gain momentum on something that has been stagnant for a while something that you felt has been tough to action in some way the eight of wands is about wanting to go faster Okay, so I feel um, with this card, you are trying to um, sort of transform something. I mean, this could even be travel. This card is a card of celebration. So I feel um, something that may have been uncertain for a while. Um, it's almost like something popped out of nowhere because the moon card is about, you know, things that are hidden coming to the surface. So it could be that you've been trying to find a home of your dreams, for example, and then out of nowhere, one just pops in your email and it's like, hey, uh, you know, we've got this, you know, it's a real estate company or something like that. And they're like, we've got this just come on the market. You're like, oh, that's the one. And then you have to move really fast on it. So I feel the eight of wands, there was some sort of challenging energy and challenging in a good way, as in challenging the status quo where something happens quite quickly. Okay, so I feel major changes here. Uh, there may be even a short, you may be thinking about or planning some sort of travel. Um, but this card basically says you're landing some sort of offer. Or something that actually may have a contract attached to it and I feel like they really want you to make sure you pay a close attention because the moon card says some things are hidden okay so you know whenever you see those uh, contracts it's like they they word things in such a way where you're like what what did that mean like I've read a whole paragraph and I have no clue because they've used like huge sort of I therefore by behold the system of the whatever and you're like all I want to do is like open a bank account or all I want to do is like buy a house or it's like, all I want to do is like work here and earn some money you know it's like all of this jargon and it's just such a simple thing, a simple action you want to achieve. So just make sure you check contracts. The moon card is about fear and illusion. So I feel like you've been quite cautious and acting. It's almost like because you felt very protective or you've had to be strong and had a lot of responsibility, I feel like there's been some fear that has been the undercurrent that has driven you towards, uh, you know, making major changes in your life. Um, the, the justice card is about making radical changes, okay? It's almost like in order to change your future, you're changing something major. So you could have made a major um, career change or, you, uh, I mean, I feel words are important as well. So if you started to write all of a sudden, I feel like that is actually something that's going to benefit you in the future. But the moon tends to mean that things are working behind the scenes. The universe has not displayed its hand yet if this was a game of poker. There are things that are manifesting and metamorphosizing behind the scenes. But intuitively, Scorpio, you can feel it. Intuitively, you know. And that's why you've been so sort of in that energy of um, doing, trying to make sure everything is all in a row. Um, you know, it's almost like an opportunity is going to pop out of nowhere or something is going to change out of nowhere and you're like intuitively you knew it was coming so you're ready so i feel like you are ready for action you've got this you are ready to at a moment's notice just secure your future that's what i'm sort of getting here okay the mood is also about releasing illusions as you can see this panda is about to fall asleep on the moon so it kind of indicates that if you use your intuition the universe has got your back because you're so in tune that you can notice when there are intrinsic shifts 
that not everybody can see and it is not ready with the eyes okay also i feel like you're doing a lot of um processing emotions from the past a lot of releasing things releasing any you know if anyone had a hold on you in the past ex-loves with the ghost of an ex-lover i feel like you're really releasing it all and i feel uh, you may even receive a message from this person you probably don't want to but uh you may receive a person a message from a person in the past who wants to tell you the truth about something but i feel like you've already come to terms with that truth and you're like i knew i knew already you don't need to be telling me now like 10 years after the whole event so i feel like there's going to be something like that coming on in for you. Uh, I mean, intuitively, I feel like you're actually going to feel their energy before they message you as well. Now, in the resistance position, the blossoming one, I feel like you've gone through a lot of hardships. You've learned what it is to struggle. You've learned what it means to pain, be pained, to feel pain. Um, unfortunately, they're showing me that that is the way that you've truly blossomed, okay? Uh, we are all meant to experience certain situations that are very, very painful. Um, but I feel like you have learned some of the most painful lessons above many others, okay? So uh, not to sort of put a measure on anyone's pain because everybody's experience and journey is very, very different. And nobody can ever really walk in my shoes and I can never really walk in your shoes because our reaction to certain circumstances will always be different and we're all very energetically different in terms of feeling and emotion as well but i feel like there's been moments where you're like oh gosh no matter what i do the more you do the more it seems to um be a struggle is what i feel okay but with the magician card i feel like this is something that's you still have power over okay because the ten of wands tells me that you're pretty burnt out. You're exhausted. Even though the new year came in and you felt really energized, I feel like that exhaustion is catching up with you, even in January. So you may have felt there's been a lot of heavy energy about. Ten of Wands is a very interesting energy because it actually says you're at breaking point. So you're freeing yourself up. You're starting to lighten up about this obsessive energy of feeling responsible. So I do feel like there was a shift here in a very positive way. The Ten of uh, sort of Wands says, you know, you're burning the candle away at both ends, but you're making way for new beginnings. So where you may have felt overwhelmed or had too many burdens, I feel like you're actually opening yourself up to a greater sort of lifestyle in some way um, by purging old emotions. I mean, look, this particular one, there's celebration there. There's fireworks. So I do feel like there, this is a cause for celebration because something that's been very difficult on your journey is truly coming to an end and you're blossoming because of it. Okay. Now the magician card says you're still in control. Be mindful of what you think about because you truly do bring about. If you felt exhausted and your energy has been scattered, you're going to get a power up. If you felt like you had unfulfilled potential in a creative field, like your gifts, um, your skills that you had to put on hold because of the pandemic or whatever, or you just felt like you're so busy doing other things that you just didn't have time to paint or you didn't have time to express yourself in other areas. This indicates that you're going to find time, but you must have, it's almost like you must take action and find the time. The magician reminds you that thoughts become things. Whatever you think about, you're actually sort of taking a step in the right direction to manifest that, but also you have to physically take action on something. So I feel you may have struggled sometimes with procrastination in some areas of your life, like maybe painting or wanting to be creative because you're so exhausted in other areas of your life. So, you know, for example, you could work in an office job and be doing, you know, your nine to five, whatever it is. And then you're like, I really want to paint. At the end of the day, I'm going to run home and I'm going to paint. But by the time you get home, you're exhausted. So you're like, I can't give that energy to that. So in that area, you're procrastinating because you sit there and go, oh, I'm going to just, I'm so exhausted. I'm just going to take a bath and go to bed and then repeat the cycle. So I feel like there's, you're going to change that this year. I feel like you're going to get a little bit more creative as well. Now, the, also the magician, they want you to be aware of accomplishment. There is great accomplishment here for you. Whatever it is you're trying to achieve, you're going to be very, very successful because you're the sort of person who thinks and you act and you accomplish. You know, you're a hard worker. They're showing me this, that you're a very hard worker. Um, but they really want you to be aware that most of the hard work, it's almost like, it's not, it's, it's not that it's over, it's done, but you've already laid the foundation for all of the hard work. So 
Give yourself a little bit of respite sometimes. Give yourself a little bit of me time. Now, the Empress card is very important, of course. It is about um, you you brimming with potential, uh, blossoming, thriving. Now, some of you may be, you know, uh, becoming a mother, for example. The Empress is a card of pregnancy sometimes. Um, or you have a family, for example. As I said, I, before this card came out, I was talking about the mama bear. Um, you know, you can be that wonderful mama bear and not feel like you have all of that responsibility on your shoulders. You can open yourself up and recognize that the universe is actually helping you manifest what you truly desire. The Empress reminds you that you've already sown seeds in your world to create the abundance that you're working towards. All you have to do now is nurture it, water it, take care of it, cultivate it, make sure it remains in alliance uh, with whatever it is you want to do with your heart, okay? I also feel like self-care is very important, okay? Um, when you're, uh, they're just indicating in, it's wonderful to create stability, for example, but don't neglect your health. Okay, so I feel very, very important that, uh, you know, healthy diets, healthy exercise uh, routines and things like that, meditation, very, very important. Uh, but the Empress card is a card of fertility. So I feel like you are going to be very creative. So that's why they really want you. It's almost like you're going to be doing a little bit extra, but because you're going to get a little bit extra rest, I feel like you're going to be doing other stuff. It's almost like you're going to be doing more in other areas, but you enjoy it. So it doesn't feel like it's work. OK, um, the Empress also is about abundance. So I feel like there's a lot of abundance coming towards you. We have a three of Pentacles, which is about teamwork. So as I said, they're sort of giving me this energy of don't feel like you're responsible and that you have to do everything all by yourself. Reach out to members of your family or friends. I know it's um, hard sometimes when you're like, maybe they don't know what you do or they don't know how they could help or they won't do it exactly the way that you would do it. But sometimes we have to trust others to lighten the load a little bit. The three of pentacles is about collaboration. So um, I feel like in terms of your work, you may be, for example, uh, in a partnership where or in a, a company or some sort of team where you work together in order to to create something with skill for the greater good. I do feel like there's a lot more money coming on in here. Three of Pentacles is building that solid foundation, okay? Um, and I feel some of you, for example, will also be, you know, connecting deeply um, with that mother type energy um, within yourself, that feminine energy within yourself in order to be more creative and make money from it. Some of you are actually going, if, you're, if your mom is still on the physical plane, um, you're going to be really connecting to her in a deeper way. <coughs> Excuse me. They're indicating if you haven't, um, if you're actually moving home, they're indicating that you're, if your mom is in spirit, um, she will be there waiting at the doorway welcoming you in is what I'm getting as well. Now, I rarely get messages like that. So that's what that's that's if someone's uh, mom has already passed. They want you to be aware uh, they'll be there at the door waiting for you. That's what they're giving me there. Uh, but the three of pentacles is about you. Um, you are stable. You're secure. OK, you're on the way to whatever it is that you are trying to achieve. Um, make sure you ask people for help sometimes. Don't feel like you have to do it all by yourself. Um, now, we've got the Page of Wands. The Page of Wands is, you know, at grassroots when it comes to you, it's about coming out of your comfort zone. It's about exploring your surroundings. It's about finding that adventurous spirit within you, um, opening yourself up to being a little bit more lighthearted, maybe even traveling. Um, there may be some sort of creative idea that you really want to run with, but it is also about you venturing forward. So if you felt like you've been a homebody, gone off grid for quite a while, I feel like you're going to find this energy where you feel all of a sudden motivated to be like, get out there, see people that you haven't seen in a while, you know, really connect with the world again. And I feel like this is you being an explorer of your options. So um, I also feel like your ideas really have value. So please dream boldly, my beautiful Scorpio. Um, whatever it is you are trying to activate, I feel like the struggle, yes, you've had to work hard to get where you're at. And you may feel like you've still got far to go, but you're on your way. You're on the right path. And I feel uh, you need to be a little bit mindful as well, just not to take on too much, but also the way that you talk to your wonderful self. This came up briefly in the Leo reading as well. I just did one of those. Um, the way that you talk to yourself, um, they want you to be easier on yourself, lighter, more compassionate, because the way that you talk to yourself actually makes you feel 
even more stress, even more exhaustion. So it's almost like if, for example, um, if, for example, it's been difficult, whatever it is you're trying to do, and you're like, oh, God, I, I, gosh, I'm so stupid. How could I ever think I could ever achieve that? You're actually telling yourself, no, you can't do that. You're stopping yourself. You're preventing yourself. Um, because something very profound came up in the, um, I mean, you may have heard it before, but it was profound for me a couple of years, a couple of months ago when my guides sort of um, connected me to this. Um, you know, the way that we talk, communicate, not just with others, but with ourselves, um, you know, they're words. And words are spelled out. They're spelling. Okay, they're spells. So we are actually vocalizing intention spells every time we talk. So if we are talking to ourselves, because swords are about the mind, they're about communication, they're about, uh, you know, mental conflict or op overthinking, the way we perceive things. If we talk to ourselves in a way where we say, oh gosh, I'm so stupid, I can't do this, you're actually creating like a spell where it's kind of like, no, you can't do it because all of a sudden you lose the motivation, the drive to even do it. And your, your own brain, your own mind is telling you, knocking your own confidence, saying you can't do something. Okay, we've all gone there. We've all like dropped something on the floor and go, oh gosh, I'm so stupid. No, you're not stupid. You just had a moment where you dropped something. So why do we feel the need to have negative self-talk towards ourselves? We need to activate self-compassion because we're actually vocalizing things to life. Thoughts become things. When we say it out loud, it actually is out there in the universe like energy and it's almost like an order to the universe. So if someone came along to you, Scorpio, and says, you can't do that, you're so stupid. You'd be like, excuse me, back the F up. Watch me achieve it. And then, you know, I'll send you some tissues when you're crying because you can see me achieving, right? So you'd be like that. So Spirit's asking you, why do you feel sometimes that you can talk to yourself like that? Why is it you talk yourself out of goals and dreams? Or why is it that sometimes you feel fear? We all feel it. We're all human. We all have that energy where we're like, oh gosh, what if I can't? Turn it around. What if I can? Okay. What if I can? Imagine the life you could achieve if you can. So try and just shift it around because that magician energy really highlights that um, you're creating and you have power, power of mind, power of spirit, and they want you to achieve. So it's almost like to prevent yourself from uh, sort of uh, blossoming, they want you to stop taking on too much. Maybe focus on certain things at a time. Delegate if you have to in order to move forward. Um, and create some time where you're not exhausted that you leave yourself out. Neglect your own needs because self-care is really important, okay? So very exciting reading there. I see a lot of positive shifts. Um, I'm just going to get um, a personal power card for you. Beautiful deck there by uh, Dea Druitt. Thank you so much. Um, they want me to go one more. Thank you so much. Okay, I think they want that one, yeah. Uh, the first card you got there is I am a healer. I am a healer. And you are, okay, my beautiful Scorpio. Your emotions... The empathy that you were given, uh, that psychic bond, that sort of radar that you've got, you intuitively know, okay, and you absorb energy as well. So I feel like you are aligning yourself with your heart chakra. Uh, people actually uh, feel that you're very wise. They come to you for advice. They actually enjoy spending time in your energy because not only are you very honest and open and truthful, um, it's almost like you help in a way that there is an undercurrent. Um, it's almost like you help people be stronger. You motivate people. You you may have heard people say to you, gosh, I feel so great when I've seen you. I feel so energized and things like that because you are naturally a healer, okay? Without even doing anything, you are a natural healer. And we also have OMG. Look at the card they gave you. I speak highly of myself. Very important, okay? I speak highly of myself. Safe, lovable. Unique, beautiful, smart, worthy, free, all of those, very important, because as you can see, they are etched on her body. We become the words we speak. We become the words we think. So very important, I speak highly of myself. Now finally, I'm just gonna get you a wonderful card here, the Spirit of the Animals Oracle by Jody Bergsma. Yeah, look at the card you got. Snow Leopard, Self-Reliance. 
Okay, I hope you can see that there. So that is the energy you feel like you are self-sufficient. Uh, you're always on a mission. It says here, you are strongly independent and often solitary. Integrity is important for your best outcome. Cloak yourself with invisibility and walk with the shamans. Use your intuition and let your life unfold in silent perfection. I mean, if ever there was a card for Scorpio, it is that. I just got pure chills. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, so definitely connect to your spiritual gifts a little bit more. Open up your chakras. Uh, also, I feel like um, whatever you set your sights on in terms of your intentions, your goals, you are going to achieve them. Okay, uh, I feel like because um, they're, they're just giving me, I'm scrolling at the same time. Um, they're just giving me a sentence. Well, what they're giving me is work hard in silence. Let your work speak for itself. So I feel like going off grid is, of course, important. And that is part of your sort of element, how you operate, Scorpio. But just make sure you don't completely lose touch with others because and, and to delegate because it'll just make your life a little bit easier. OK, um, so they just gave me like a hint of a song all of a sudden and then they take it. They took it away. So it started, but then it stopped. So either you're listening to music or you just put some music on or music just stopped and started on your phone or something like that. Please take it as it resonates. It's not going to resonate for everyone. If the song comes back before I close the reading, then of course I'll mention it. Um, thank you so much for it, guys. You're able to please drive. We have, wow. So we've got the wheel. Now this connects to the wheel of fortune. Now whenever we get this wheel, it's a reminder. We are the master or the mistress of our own destiny. But fate does also guide our course. So I feel like there's a lucky break coming towards you, but there's some sort of navigational energy here. So either you're thinking about relocating or you're thinking about traveling in some way because this wheel belongs to a ship. There's an indication that you will be either having a short trip or some sort of travel um, in the next, uh, I would say, five, six weeks. Um, that's going to be very, very fruitful for you. But also, most important, it's going to be very refreshing for your senses and you connecting to nature, okay? Uh, words like this. Oh, they want me to put it on the page of wands. I guess it means, you know, exploring other territory, coming out of a comfort zone. Um, they're just giving me the song again. Uh, sorry, that's why I paused, but... You know, it's like a drum beat that I'm getting and like, um, it's almost like, you know, back in the day, like way back in the day before any of us were born, um, you know, when people would go to battle, there would be like, um, a marching band at the front. It's like, um, but the, the words they're giving me is the animals went in two by two. Hurrah. Hurrah. Okay. So, I mean... The animals went in two by two. Hurrah. That's like Noah's Ark, right? Um, now, these these readings are not meant to be religious or anything like that. So either you have been playing that and it's just come up in the reading or uh, they mean, I mean, Noah's Ark was safety, I guess, against the flood. So it, it was given a message or a sign to prepare for something um, intuitively before it came. So it was making sure everything was safe, I guess. I mean, it really connects to your reading, actually. Um, so I'm going to have to, I mean, I didn't know there was a song attached to Noah's Ark, the, the story. So I'm going to have to look that up. Uh, but if you know about it or anything like that, or you just played it just before this reading, or it plays just after this reading, please take it as it resonates. It's not going to resonate for everyone. I was just trying to decode it and see how it was resonant to your reading. But Noah's Ark, I guess, felt responsible to make sure everything was all in order before a certain date, because intuitively or was given a message uh, that there was um, a reason to build the ark. So maybe that's how you're feeling right now. You feel like there is intuitively something challenging coming up perhaps in your world, or um, maybe it's just a time period, you know, um, and you're just getting everything in order. Odd song to get, but anyway, uh, I'm just gonna leave it like that. I'm not really sure. I'm gonna have to look into it a little bit more, dig into it deep. I mean, 
I've got knowledge, but I can't know everything in the whole world. So um, I'm just giving you what I'm getting. So I'm going to leave it there. I hope something resonates in this reading for you, my beautiful Scorpio. If it does, please like or subscribe to my channel. It's completely free for you. All you have to do is press a little bell that lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is very important for me. Thank you so much, my beautiful Scorpio. Love and light.